Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I have a good old fashioned jewelry jar, y'all. A jar jar. <laughs> anyway, uh, hello. I haven't been able to get out to get a jar in a really, 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 really long time because I did not go out at all because of the pandemic. And then we got COVID and then I finally tested negative after testing negative and positive and now I'm negative again so whoo <laughs> finally uh so yeah I did go and get a jewelry jar pardon my nose is itching now of course <gasps> so I I thought I would come on this evening and share it with you it's a good old-fashioned jewelry jar dig y'all uh it's a 99 on it but it was 30% off for some reason. I had a 20% off coupon, but then the girl gave me 30% off. And she was like, I couldn't figure out the 20% off coupon. So I just gave you 30. Okay. So I put $14.99, probably with tax and everything. That's what the price was. But we're going to dive into this. We're going to dive in, y'all. <laughs> do y'all watch Gravity Falls? What's the name of the little guy? He talks like this. We're going to do this, y'all. Oh, <laughs> What is his name? It's driving me bonkers. Uh, but he's a little short guy. Okay, if you don't have kids and you don't watch Gravity Falls, you're probably like, what are you talking about? You're just talking like yourself. Hi in the chat. I am going to be talking into the chat and everything. So if you're here, hello. And if you're not here and you wish you were, then hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I put out new videos or go live randomly because who knew I was going to do this right now? Not me. Not even me. <laughs> so hi, hi Hudson Vintage, and hello Bad Biscuit, hello Alicia, Barry Vixen, hello, hello everybody, Susan. I, whoo, it has been a roller coaster, y'all, as you may well know if you've been following along. And if you haven't, I will not enumerate the ways. Suffice it to say, it's been a long two months. It's been a long 2020. I'll just say that. Uh, yeah. So I, I didn't go to a thrift store. I haven't been to a thrift store since like February and because I just didn't want to get sick. And then I got sick anyway. So there you go. Long story short, the end, I missed. Okay, so I'm really happy to do this. Uh, but I am hoping, because I turned on, when I, when I first tested negative, I turned on my Etsy, my eBay shops, and then uh, made a couple sales, didn't ship anything out, thank goodness, and then got negative and positive tested again. <sighs> uh, so then I had to shut everything down again and like cancel sales. I know I'm going off if you're like, I'm just here for a jewelry jar. We're getting there. Welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, so I, I'm like really hesitating to turn my shops back on now, but I think it's gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna do inventory first, just to make sure, just to give myself that little extra time. <sighs> but we did, we went on a picnic today. Oh my gosh, we went out and got some sun. Haven't been outside. Hi, thanks for being here, everybody. I'm sure I'm missing, I know, I know I'm missing people in the chat. Hi, Christine and Nola, hello, hello. Hi, and if you are one of my members, go check, and if you're not a member, I have a join button. There's little things you can see what what that's all about. Um, but the member I think just reminded me. I put a couple. I put a, a question in about what kind of like reward video, and then if you're on a certain level, we do a, a hangout together. And I put a date in there. Let me know if it's good or not. So there's that. It's in the community tab. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Business is done. All right. So I am feeling a lot better. The only really weird thing that is still lingering is the weird smell. Like I have a weird smoke smell. For a while there, my, my smell was gone. And then when it came back, it was fine. And then I started having this like, it smelled like my face was being held, like somebody's just holding a dirty ashtray right here. Everywhere I go, there's like a dirty ashtray right here. Um, <laughs> sometimes it's gone, but then sometimes it's back. You know, it's awful, it's awful. Okay, let's do this <laughs> for real now. Um, <clears throat> the cough's getting better. So I don't even know how to start anymore. I feel like I just don't even know what to do with myself. First up, what we've got are, they're not even earrings. They are little 
they were on something, probably a necklace. They feel really super scratchy though. Uh, so these will just go probably into a craft lot that I'll make. And then we've got this necklace that looks very pearly and super long. Oh, or is it two necklaces? It's, oh, they're tied together. They've got a little tie. So what do we think? On the surface, at first when you look at them, like, oh, maybe it's little um, little pearls and lapis lazuls, but it's really lightweight. Like for pearls, even for like freshwater pearls, it's like it feels super lightweight and plasticky. So I think it's probably just plastic. So another thing I'll do is I'll feel these little, these. If they were glass or lapis, if I felt them, they would feel like cold to the touch. They're not, they're like just plasticky. My fingernails are plasticky too. So I don't know. Hmm, thoughts? I mean, I think they're sellable probably, but I'm probably going to put them into a craft slash jewelry lot. So I get questions about that. Like how, cause some people will say, you know, I. I see you putting different things in the craft lot, and I don't understand your, th your thought process for it. Basically, I have so much jewelry to list. Like somebody else might say, I would have listed that. I think it's listable. But I have so much jewelry <laughs> that I need to list that at this point it's like, do I want to put it in the pile and forget about it and then clean it out in a year? Or do I want to just go ahead and put it where I know it's going to end up? <laughs> um, I think it's awesome. I think it could sell. Okay, I'm gonna need help. Is it a, it's a brooch. Okay, let's start there. It's red and gold and it looks like perhaps somebody glued this onto the back of it. So that makes me less confused because, I mean, it's neat. Does it go this way? Tell me what you see. It's like a Rorschach test. Rorschach, Rorschach. One of those inkblot tests. What do you see, darlings? I see a fish going to eat a droplet of blood. Um, or if you think it looks like a flower, clearly my Rorschach test, I failed it. They're going to lock me up and put me in a padded room. I hear banging cabinets. Uh-oh. The kids must be getting hungry. What do you see if I hold it like that? Maybe it's a, or, <laughs> or it's a bird. Okay, where's the, wait, is that a bird? Oh, I see it, oh, I see it, I see it. Wait, wait, there, there, you see it? There it is, it's in the thing. There's a bird in my fish. It's one of those hidden picture deals. There it is, got it, and this is like the rising sun. Okay, <laughs> well that was fun. Uh, if it's not missing any stones, which I think it might, no, maybe it's not. Uh, it's unusual. It's a peacock. I think you're right. I think it is a peacock. We did it. <laughs> this is why lives are so fun. Because if I don't know what it is, do you ever have, I mean, you know, you see it and you're like, I can't see it. It's one of those like hidden pictures, like those history I never could see. It's like a big bunch of picture things. And you're supposed to see like, the dinosaur. It's supposed to pop out at you. What are those things called? They're not called hidden pictures. Magic, magic pictures, magic eye. <sighs> yeah, it's okay. A swan, a peacock. Okay, now I see it. I do now. I truly do. But at first I couldn't see it at all. I'm going to set that aside because now that I know it's a peacock, there are peacock lovers and somebody will like, oh, I don't have a peacock pin like that. It's a space. Thank you. <laughs> space alien. <laughs> you see, Lexi sees pain, misery, dinosaur. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, I'm not the only one. Okay, <laughs> next <clears throat> is a little pin. Why are they yelling? They're playing video games, so that's maybe that. Okay, here we've got a cross and a butterfly, and I think it's pewter. Let's see if we can read what the back of this says. Oh, I can't read it. Let's find my loop. This is fun. We're barely even in, and we're already having a good time. Uh-oh. I cannot read it. 
at all. The letters are too close. Maybe somebody will um, recognize it. But I think it's cool. I've never seen one quite like it. It looks like it's pewter. I'm going to set that there because I think somebody might like that. I think that will go on my cell pile. <clears throat> oh, I am, Heather. Thank you so, so much. Um, you know, it's not 100%, but I am not complaining. The worst part of the whole thing for me was the dizziness. There were like, I don't know how long. It was an eternity, it felt like, where I just couldn't even like walk across the room because I was so dizzy. There was one day I woke up. And I, before I even got out of bed, I opened my eyes and realized I'm too easy to stand up. I haven't even gotten out of bed yet. So that was awful. All right, next we've got this one. This will go to a craft lot. Somebody might be able to crafty it up. And then this, it's a leather strap with some plastic, just some little plastic slide on beads. So that'll go to a lot as well. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> uh, here we go. <laughs> this one is a bangle with a little pearl. This one will go to a lot. And ooh, what are you? You're cute. So this, hold still you. It's a little cutesy owl. I love that green. Even the back is enameled, which is awesome. I think that's a really nice detail. I see a maker's mark there, or a hang tag. Where is it? I think it's Claire's, but still, it's cute. Hang on, let's look. Can, yep, it's Claire's. Uh, I'm gonna look this one up, because there are people that just love, love owls, and it's in really nice shape. You know, this, the enameling is not like scuffed up or anything, and I love that green. Oh, why can't you be like earrings or like something? I just know I won't wear it as a necklace. I don't like stuff. I, I have a few necklaces I wear. I have a lot of necklaces. But I just like, I can't handle things pulling on me. Um, <laughs> me too. <laughs> I hope there's something decent in here too. So far so good. For 15 bucks, I think even if I just like sold my hidden picture, for $15, I'd be okay. It's all fun, right? Okay, so here we've got this little stretchy with a flower on it. That's going to go to a lot. It is. It's a good old-fashioned jewelry jar. Uh, then, oh, it's got something written on the back. This might be something. We've got this flower leaf thing. It's on a stretchy, but then I, th I don't know about that. What does it say? Let's see if we can read it. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to get the loop, I can't read that. Maybe I'll read it. Ah, oh, yes, turtlenecks, yes, I can't. I can't with the turtlenecks either. No, good thing we live in the South. <laughs> New Orleans, no, that's not the place for turtlenecks. <laughs> Maybe it'd feel differently if you were like in Maine or something, but I don't know. Elizabeth Showers. I don't know Elizabeth Showers. I'm going to have to look that one up. Do y'all know Elizabeth Showers? Yeah, turtlenecks. What else? Like I can do scarves if I'm not, if I'm really cold. But yeah. No. Nothing on the necks, not even hickeys cuz that's gross. <laughs> All right, next up. This is just a stretchy they they're really blingy but they're plastic, so that'll go to a lot. Again, both of those plastic Fun stretchies. Those will go to a lot. Let me see. What else we got? <laughs> you wear I have a lot of scarves though. I bet I my sister encouraged me, not like the little skinny scarves, but like almost like the big, not quite a pashmina, but kind of like that size, but really light, like gauzy ones. And and in the summer even, because they really kind of keep you cool. And we play with them. I mean, I have a ton of them now. So <laughs> Uh, let's see. Dallas. Oh, it's a Dallas based designer. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'm going to definitely do that. I'm going to make it. Oh, yay. Cats are learning treasure. I'm going to make a, a video opening two of your subscribe monthly packages today. Oh, yeah. Y'all go watch that. <laughs> um, yeah, because over on Patreon, I do like the mystery boxes every month. December's now that I'm negative again, I can send out December's. Woohoo. Uh, yeah. Oh, dear. You don't like socks? I don't either. I think it's because I gained weight, though. I think 
I think it's because I gained weight and now my calves are a little, it's just uncomfortable. Um, so I'm most of the time barefoot anyway. It's tr true. It's true. <laughs> so maybe if I lost some more weight, I wouldn't mind socks again. But right now, whereas my sister wears socks constantly, she wears socks always. <laughs> In the house, socks. She is, yeah, okay, that's TMI about my sister. Never mind, especially if you're a foot person. I don't need to be giving you ammunition about my sister's feet. Okay, this is a nice little bracelet. It's got wood, wood, cool wooden beads and everything, but I'm going to put that in a lot. <clears throat> okay, then what have we here? This probably is something somebody made. It's got a one of these big shell-type discs. And then polka dotty beads. I think the polka dotty beads are fun. And this, pro you know, I mean, honestly, it's so weird and, and different. Somebody probably like it, you know? But I think I'm probably going to put it in a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's got a toggle clasp. Let's see her. Okay. Capiz shell. Is that what that is? Okay. Sweet. Thank you very much, Rhonda. Thank you. Um... Alicia says, I live in Maine. I do not wear turtlenecks. <laughs> Did you choose? Oh, Rebecca's asking if I chose the gray scarf in the FabFitFun box. Did I get the gray scarf? Is that like the, the, the yes, like the, it was camel, like camely, maybe it is gray, but it's like wide. I think so. Wait, did I? Or was that from something else? Shoot, I get too many subscription boxes. I know I got a robe because I like it. And some mugs. <laughs> I didn't open it on, on uh, normally I open that kind of stuff on my My Mate Margaret. But I didn't open it because I was just sick and feeling yucky and I just opened it for myself. <laughs> All right, next up <clears throat> is this green. Yeah, this just kind of green. I feel like they're wood, maybe, painted. They feel woody. Okay, so that's going to go to a lot as well. Come on now. I, I feel good about this, maybe. <laughs> I feel good that I'm here and having fun with you. We'll just we'll just keep digging into it. All right, this is a stretchy pearl that's gonna go to a lot. We got dirty pom poms, y'all. Dirty pom poms. What is that? What does that say? It says cotton. Cotton on foundation. Cotton on foundation. What does that mean? And then there's some very tiny writing and numbers and stuff. Lucy Pom Pom Band. What in the world? I don't even know what this is supposed to be. <clears throat> I'm going to put it over there. Yeah. I don't even know that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw that away. <laughs> Did she make it? Aha! I made it. Into the trash. Trash! If y'all tell me it was something really fancy, I'm going to go get it. But right now it's in the trash. So, oh, okay. You were, you were, you're in California, you wear turtlenecks and scarves. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a chain store in Australia. Okay. That's something I did not know. Cool. Next up is, I guess it's a, oh, it's a key. Okay. So it's a keychain, And then that would like hook probably on the side of your purse. So your keys don't get lost. And that's got a long horn on it, but it's missing some stones. But somebody might like it for something. I don't know. Okay, I'll put it in the craft lot. Same thing with this watch. The band is all messed up and yucky, but somebody might want to pick apart the watch thing. So put that in a lot. We got a coach tag. So I think I think people buy these. I don't know if they buy them singly like this or if you lock them up or what, I'm going to set it aside for now. But it'll probably go to a lot, too. <coughs> Do Okay, oh, here's a question. Wait, Susan says, it looks like they spend money on youth education chair. Oh, cool, that's good then. Okay. Do I put new backs on your used earrings? It depends. If they're disgusting, yeah, I do. Um, like if they're all like, because it's not worth me getting a toothpick and cleaning out somebody's ear cred because that's disgusting. But if they're just like, Fine, yeah, then I leave them. But if they're gross, they're going in the trash. All right, this is a piece of wood. Maybe it's like a beard or a purple flame. 
It could be either. Yeah. And then we've got a plastic ring. My light's kind of hot over here. Thank you, Laura. I actually did cut it myself. I, I'm, I'm curling it under to hide the flaws. That's what's happening there. When I, I have my flat iron and I kind of, so you can't quite tell that it's not even. That's the secret. That's the secret. <coughs> of course it will. Then we've got this. Can't, I, I wish I could see my trash bin. I made it. I really did. You'll have to take my word for it, though. But I really did. All right. Sorry about the beeping. It'll stop in a second. All right. That will be in the lot. Uh, I don't know. I've got four things that are okay. But I'm so happy that I got a jar and that I'm hanging out. <coughs> I almost did this as a camera down, but I'm glad I didn't because I'm glad I got to come hang out with you. Uh, there's I really, Laura, I think I, because I've done it twice since the pandemic started, but now I feel like I should have recorded it both times. <laughs> but the first time I did it, it was totally a fluke because I'd never cut my hair before. And I thought, I should have, I should have, if I'd recorded it, it was, it would have been a nightmare. And then the second time I was like, I really should record this again. And then I thought, no, no, you're, ch you're chanting it, Margaret. You're going to like tempting fate. And so I did it. <laughs> I'll do it the third time <laughs> or else I'll talk myself out of it again. Um, I heard that. I just saw some little thing about he uses the Floby to cut his hair. <laughs> I'm not trying it. I mean, he can get away with it, I suppose. <laughs> right. Where did I, I got this one at Savers. My Goodwills here in the Austin area that I have found have not, I don't find them. But when I was in Houston, the Goodwills did have them. So my, ch my children are coming. Okay, next up. Hang on, I'm about to have to tell them I'm live. Hey, I'm live. You okay? Yep. We're backing away. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Thank you. Yes, me too. Hello. Hi. All right. So next up, we've got a letter. And it's either a J or an L. And I think it was a brooch, perhaps, at one time. But it's missing its thing. So it's stem or whatever you call it. No jars in Georgia anymore. I've got some blue boxes also. And a couple of thread ups. I'm, I always miss the thread ups, though. And that's a bummer because I enjoy getting them. <laughs> All right, we've got this one. This is a broken, broken. All right, so that will go to a craft lot. And this pearly thing, that will go to a craft lot. Mm, oh, hello. Well, you are something special. So this, are you ready? At first you might think that's a broken piece of something. It isn't, it's an earring. What? It's a long one. Look at that. I like a long earring. <laughs> um, we'll just leave it there. Anyway, is the mate here? Is that the mate? Oh my gosh. It is, but it's not. Okay. So it's it looks similar like that part of it, but then this is not. I could have been like, I could have won the longest earring contest at the next mom's park day. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe it'll turn up. Oh, fun. Next, we've got this plastic crystal ball. Yeah. Pardon, my nose started. There must be something that's making my nose run a little bit. One earring, one side. Oh, drama. Yes. Ah. Oh. Yes, I, I definitely, I agree. Mm, keep them guessing, right? Keep them guessing. It's very cool, though. Oh, you say it looks like Indian wedding jewelry. Awesome. Yeah. There was one that we had a while back. Oh, look, that does look like the back. See how that, that piece matches that piece? The dome part's missing. Maybe it's in there. Uh-oh. I see something that looks like a Kendra Scott earring. Let's see. This. We'll take a look at it closer. There's a lot of fakey Kendra Scotts, but this one looks, I'll have to look and see. Sometimes it's along the edges. Mm, maybe it's not a, I'm gonna look real fast. Hang on. 
It looks looks like it's pretty good though. I'm looking for the maker's mark on it. Boo -de -boo. I'm not seeing it. But a lot of times with like with Kendra Scott or what's another brand I can think of that does this. If you have one earring, you can go in and get the other earring. Uh, they'll give you the other earring half, you know, half price basically. So you're not having to buy a whole new set of earrings. Maybe it's not. I don't I don't see a mark. Usually there is a mark somewhere. But it seems pretty good. So I'm going to set it to the side and we'll look closer in a minute. <clears throat> and I don't know if Kendra Scott does, does this, but some makers will only put the mark on one earring. Um, I don't think that's cool. But whatever. That's their choice. Then we've got a tiger's eye little scarab. I'm pretty sure one of my kids is going to claim that because we're all kind of rock hounds here and scarabs are cool and that's pretty awesome and we all keep little we have let me try to show you shadow boxes keep <laughs> look you can see my shadow box there uh, but I have like two more downstairs and my kids both have shadow boxes that we keep little trinkets and fun little things we find in treasures so I'm sure one of them will <laughs> snap that up <coughs> okay uh, do, 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 do. Hang on. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Tommy in Seattle. All right. Then we've got a broken bit of this. And we've got, what is she? Uh, a mask, like so, with Mardi Gras colors. Mardi Gras. All right, they're canceling Mardi Gras, right? That's really a, yeah. Okay, so there's that. It's a Mardi Gras mask bead. Cool. Then we've got a broken necklace. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being here too. I'm so glad to be back at it and actually feeling like I want to because I was feeling so yucky and I didn't want to, I didn't even want to come in here and touch anything and mess up anything. I just thought, ugh, it was just awful. It was awful, avoid it if you can. All right, next up we've got these, most likely faux pearls. Well, they feel pretty good. I'll have to look at them closer. The clasp on them is broken. This, hang on, I'm gonna grab it. I'm pretty sure, yeah. The clasp is supposed to be one of those that goes around. It gets around, but it's broken. I think that's what, yeah. So I'll have to look at it a little closer, but I'm pretty sure they're just little faux pearls. They feel good. They're cold to the touch though. So that's a good sign. Yeah. Uh oh, I don't know. Some of your comments are disappearing. Oh dear. Oh no, I'm sorry. Then we've got these like, Blanks it looks like maybe they used to have some stones, but now they don't so that can go to a lot, too This is a lot of broken stuff. That's fine. I knew it was a gamble and that's okay broken More broken Somebody might want to fix that it just takes a jump ring Just take a jump ring That feels like it should be a song it would just take a jump ring. It sounds like it would be a country western song. It would just take a jump ring. Fix this necklace in two. No, no, no. That doesn't work. It's in two and you're fixing it into one. But I don't have time to figure out lyrics right now. Okay, we'll work on that later. <laughs> <clears throat> so, let's discuss. <laughs> this is... It's plastic. And this is, I mean, possibly, you know, like, no, that's not gonna work. You're gonna take the skin off. Maybe a door hanger, <laughs> like you hang it on a doorknob so that if somebody opens that door, it'll clang on it and you'll know like, you left your room, I told you to stay put, right? Um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Fun times. 
fun, fun times. But seriously, if I wore it to the ball, I could like knock somebody out, right? That's a Penelope von Schnitzel that's a little, like secret weapon, right? So there was a broken strand and they, that <laughs> they wanted me to go, yeah. <laughs> a very blingy, very blingy weapon, definitely. Blingy ball and chain, Susan says, yes. You gotta find a man with a small foot or you get them, you know, you, you, what you do is you catch them young and then you train them up right. No, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that was awesome. That's horrible. <laughs> um, so let's see. I'm looking. Ah, thank you for being here. Hello, hello. Hypnosis charm. There we go. There, now we are. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. Oh, we can totally do this. <laughs> yeah, I would probably, that would probably be something that would happen for sure. <laughs> Is it, uh, and it's through possibly, but what, but for what purpose, darling? Right? A sun catcher. Yeah, my sister actually uses big crystals like this, but this one's plastic, but like crystal, crystal ones um, on her sun catchers. So yeah, Penelope von Schnitzel, it's a darling, right? <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> I don't know if I can pull her out. She's down deep. Got to pull Penelope way out. Oh, a curtain hold back thingy. <gasps> I bet that's what it is. Where you like put, you pull the curtains back and you circle. You would have to have not a lot of curtain though. That would be for a skinny curtain. And you would have to have a hook on the wall, right? Or else it would just go and fall straight to the floor. <gasps> you guys. What would I do without you? Seriously. Because I didn't even think of that. Uh, an 80s rearview mirror. Oh, yeah, for your Camaro. True. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, well, that's true. The stretchy, you know, it's not stretchy. No. And I'm not, I like, I can't have stuff hanging in my face. <sighs> Maybe a problem, but whatever. Um, I can't have things, and I can't have things tall either, like on the table. I'm weird like that. Like if we go, this is probably very more than you wanted to know in a jewelry jar opening. But if we go to a table at a restaurant, remember those? And if there's like a table tent in the table, on the table rather, I can't handle it. I have to move it like it has to go to the side. And sometimes they have like all of this accoutrement on the table. And it's like in the like tall salt shakers and like tall carafes and like set it in the middle. I have to like, it has to be on the edge. I have to be able to see my opponent clearly, <laughs> whoever I'm talking to. I don't know, it's just a thing. I can't handle it. So, I don't know. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. <sighs> I hope that he has a very mild run of it because it's awful. It's horrible. Yeah, you too? Okay, yeah, I can't handle it. <laughs> a pool for a ceiling fan, that's another good idea. True, good ideas. Let's see, <laughs> no, I can't, can't do it. Uh, all right, Barbara said, still has a crystal ball hanging from, I think if it was small, like, and wouldn't like swing around too much, I might be okay, but, Anything that would just distract me is probably a bad idea because I'm very easily distracted. Okay, <laughs> then more broken bits. We've got an Iron Man watch that seems to be working, but the strap is kind of like, it's not awful really. Well, it's not amazing, the strap, but it's working and the strap is a little bit, it's really not that bad. I'm gonna look that up. Because some people are like, I, I want the same watch that I had. Yeah. Okay, I'll look that up. So we're, we're doing okay. I wonder if my sister wants plastic crystal balls. I know she likes crystal crystal balls. Maybe I'll put those. I'm going to put these balls aside for my sister. <laughs> I think she needs them. Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, okay. I wasn't sure what was going on in the chat, so I was just double checking. Another piece wooden little cutout piece here comes another one another one of those those colors really go nicely together don't they let's 
let's see. Here we go. That's I like the purpley and the, and the magenta purpley. That looks good. I like it. <coughs> Pardon. Okay, then some more faux pearls. Deary, deary, dear. We're having fun at least, right? So even if I don't get a lot out of this, because it's not looking good. Um, <laughs> broken, more broken beads. I knew I was just going in it for fun now, right? And just to hang out, to get my feet wet again, right? Okay, yes, oxymoron plastic crystal ball, exactly. I can sort of see the future. <laughs> that one's got some nice AB stones in it, though. That's fun. All right. Then, uh, this one's kind of fun. Oh, this one's nice. Okay. Here we've got, these are really blingy. Like AB, there's Aurora Borealis stones. Let's make sure it's not missing any. Um, Dreaming oven, AB. Christmas. I really need to get all my Christmas stuff up. <gasps> oh no. Are we going this again? It's fitting. It fits barely. I don't I can't wear it though. But I was gonna put it on, but now I decided it's a bad idea because then I'll never get it off. So I think that's what I can sell. It's got a, a hook, you know, just like hook on the other end of it type of deal. I like. Okay, good. That one's a good one. I mean, seriously. It was $15. It was worth the risk, right? A uh, broken piece. <clears throat> I definitely, yeah, I haven't gotten all my Christmas stuff out yet, and I feel bad about that. But it's been just weird, you know? And I feel like we've been doing extra makeup for school because, you know, I homeschool my kids. And because we were, like, going to Houston a bunch for the house, so we were kind of schooling off and on. And then we were sick. And then we were better, but we were still sick because we couldn't leave the house. So I felt like I was trying to smoosh in a bunch of school. <sighs> I forget why I went on that tangent. <laughs> I feel like I just have grown-ups to talk to, and I'm just going to, like, verbally just go off on whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, seriously, don't remember why I brought that up. Okay. Uh, oh, yes, please go hit the thumbs up. This is, this came from Savers. Yeah. So I've had good ones from Savers. I mean, seriously, but I only paid 15 bucks. So it's worth the fun of $15. This one, it's not awesome. It's intact, but those fabric beads, no, no ma'am, no sir, no fabric beads. Okay, these are earrings. Hoopy doopy earrings. Let's get the magnet. Oh, yes. Now, I'm always confused with the Chanukah Hanukkah thing. This is something I have to look up. Is it the same thing or it's different? I'm not saying that to be insensitive. I really want to know. Because a friend of mine was just saying she was pretty excited because that was today was starting. And I'm just, I'm embarrassed to say I don't know. But, it, you know, how do you learn unless you say? I don't know. I need to find out. I, I like these bangles, but they're going to go to a, they're magnetic. So off they go. Oh, is it a same, it's the same thing, just the spelling? Okay, I, I didn't want to be insensitive, and, and I just wasn't sure. Okay, so I can't tell if they're playing or fighting. I think they're playing. <laughs> okay, so this is a Fitbit holder thing. So that'll go to a lot, too. Uh, oh. This time I can tell it's a bird, okay? So we've got another peacock. It's pretty, huh? We've got a nice Rivoli stone. I love things with Rivoli stones. That's the kind that's like pokey on the top. And that's not the technical term for it. It's nice rose gold. <clears throat> However, <clears throat> the problem with this one is the bar is missing for the the bridge, the bar part. Yeah. Ah, oh, I, oops. I just said, oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, well, <laughs> it's the same thing, different spellings. Okay, cool. Okay. So that's going to go to a lot. Somebody's going to probably be able to do something really fun with that. It's pretty, but I don't repair stuff. Some more cool butterfly cutouts. Those are cool. Oh, hi. Yeah. Leander's not far away. 
I like the library over there. It's small, it's quaint. They have homeschool stuff. Yeah. All right, then we've got this piece of a maybe earring, like hammered style, but that's not hammer style and not hammer time. Uh, okay, where are we? This, oh, oh darn. Is it a piece of a necklace? It's a pendant, I think. I like. Okay, so we've got this. I wish it was an earring. Isn't that fun? But maybe it's a piece of a necklace that's broken or something. That's what it looks like there. And then the front of it has like this. I bet you could make it into a brooch really, really easily. You know? Like there. Maybe. Uh-oh. There. But it would be cool as an earring, too. That's really pretty. I love the greens. But because I don't know what I would do with it, I guess I'm going to... That would be a pretty brooch. I don't wear brooches, but it would be nice. Yeah. This one? Yeah, send me an, uh, an email. <laughs> if there's any... Email. <laughs> but seriously, yeah. Send me. Send me an email. I have a couple emails I need to respond to. I've been kind of backlogged with being sick. What are they doing in there? Okay. Uh, then we've got these. Well, they're okay, but I'm going to put those into a lot too. I see something that looks like ivory. I'm going right in for it. They look like, we'll see. They're like those earrings that you would switch out, you know? I'm looking at them. Can, I'm going to let you look first, then I'm going to look. I don't see any marks. I mean, not marks, but lines. A lot of times you can kind of see the shrugger lines, like from just looking at it, you know? But I, there's something I see over there. I don't think that they're going to be real ivory. <laughs> I'm not even going to read the chat. I'm not, not even. No, these are not ivory. Good. They, I don't know what that is though. There's like some kind, it almost looks like it was filled or something and it didn't get filled right. It's very strange. I'm not quite sure. Um, so they are cold to the touch. So I'm not 100% sure what they are. They're definitely not ivory though. Okay. Ceramic maybe? I don't know. Yeah. <coughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm so glad y'all are. Y'all are having fun in the in the chat. <laughs> All right, we've got another Timex watch. This one probably just needs new batteries, but I'm going to put it into a lot. What else we got? Body jewelry. You know you love it. Glow in the dark. Spiky. What do you spike this through? Your ear? Your lip? Your nip? I don't know. I might need someone to demonstrate this. Body rage. Glow in the dark. Here's what you do. <laughs> Since it's dark, you won't know which part of the body it's on. So you get the person to go in the bathroom and put it on and come back out in the dark. And it's like, uh, like hide and seek, right? Button, button, who's got the button? And you got to find it and then figure out which part of the body it is because it's so dark you can't tell. I need a volunteer. <laughs> okay. Oh, it, it was an earring, but I can totally do, you know, yeah. See, look. But it's awesome. If you want both of them, I'll set those aside. All right, then. <laughs> Come on. It's been a while since I've got to talk to grown-ups. Give me this, y'all. Give me this. <laughs> yes, it's true. Yeah, it's no different. I'm not grossed by it. I just think it's funny. I think body, I, I have had other things on my body pierced other than my ears, but we won't go into that. Um, but I never wore stuff like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so these are fun, only it's missing little, some of the little balls on there. Stop with the balls in the chat, y'all. Now I'm self-conscious. What else would you call it? Beads. There we go. I have to call everything beads just because. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, those were missing some accoutrement. 
Um, and so that'll go to a lot. All right, I'm gonna pour this out so I can see what's in the bottom. <laughs> Spears. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Speaking of speaking of balls. Yes, I have something to say. Do you, do you know who William Wegman is? William Wegman, <clears throat> he's the guy that, that would do all of the um with the Weimaraners, right? And <laughs> Why am I telling you this? <laughs> he has a, a, a movie or like a short Christmas one. I think I still have it. It's called Faye's 12 Days of Christmas, right? And it's all the dogs. Faye is the mom dog. And each each time the next day of Christmas comes along, um, Faye's putting something new on the tree. And so it's like on the third day, uh, Faye's putting on three green Christmas ball, or three green balls. So he's talking about um, all, each day of Christmas, like the different things she's decorating the tree with. And then on the second day of Christmas, um, and all the other days of Christmas, he was just like, two, uh, four yellow balls, three green balls, two blue. And he totally pauses. He goes, on the second day of Christmas, Faye puts on two blue Christmas balls. <laughs> Anyway, sorry about that. Um, if you have to explain something later, but don't. <laughs> but for real, well, yeah, it was really funny. And to hear that coming out of William Wegman's. Anyway, <laughs> you could tell he, as he was saying it, he was like, I am thinking better of this. <laughs> okay, so here we've got this cheer multi strand bracelet. I'll put that in a lot. There we go. I need to find that. Look it up. Phase 12 days of Christmas. William Wegman. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, I know it's super confusing. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Barbara. Oh, your dog's name is Faye. It was meant to be. Is it? Is your dog a, uh, a Weimaraner? So, yeah. <coughs> All right, then we've got a ring. It's one of these, like, just adjustable little rings. I think I needed this. I have to watch my language all the time. <laughs> and I'm still watching my language, right? Okay, we've got a fun little watch here. This is a nice piece. We've got a Timex. Probably just needs a new battery. It's got a nice band. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's an inner glow. And I like the watches that have the, the date off to the side. Oh, it's a Greyhound. Nice. Okay, so nice watch. Cool. Here is the mate to this earring. I, I'll look at it a little closer. I'm not sure now that it's a Kendra Scott, but it looks like that style. So. If <laughs> were you here when I was when I was doing the sweaty balls one, what was it? What, what? Oh, I can't remember what I was even talking about. But yeah, <laughs> gosh, what was it? This is Mary Margaret Shanahan. No, that's the wrong character. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, good times. Moving on. <laughs> All right, so here we've got, this is an earring. This is one of those kind of like ear climber earrings, maybe, or hugger. It would really, let me see. Because the hole is, the the post is in the middle of it. So it would go like, how would that go? You can't even, in the hole there. Or it could go down. It could be like a sad rainbow, like so. Okay, Mary Catherine, guess the one. <laughs> oh. Oh yes, thank you. Yeah, hit that. Oh, how many likes do we have? I can't even see because I'm on the I'm doing the stream yard, so I can't see the likes and all the other stuff. So <clears throat> oh, Barry Vixen's gonna have an auction. I, I need to have another one in a while. Maybe next, maybe next. I'll figure it out. I'll post it. It'll be a Sunday. I know that much. Um I did that the other day to somebody. Oh gosh, it's been a while. Yep, those were classics. 
All right, so next up, we've got this necklace, which appears to be in one piece. That's not so bad, with a little blue bling on it. I mean, it looks like totally just the Claire's piece, you know, going to the club. So that's a, that's a maybe. It's not broken. I'm looking to see what else I got down here. I got a lot of broken stuff. A lot of randoms. Here's the other piece of that earring. Is that broken or can I fix it? No. Okay, I'm gonna put it with it though. I've got some more plastic rings. Plastic, plastic rings. <coughs> ah, 81 likes. That's half. I'm not a halfway kind of gal. <laughs> but I'll take what I can get. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at the cute octopus. There we go. It, the little enamel's messed up, though. That stinks. Uh, and then I've got this earring, which looks pretty cool, but the mate is not there. Looks like maybe sodalite, unless that's not even a real stone. I'm trying to see. There's my loot. Uh, well, probably sodalite. All right, so there's that. Does that earring work on your other ear? Maybe. Do do do. Okay, ah, uh, darn. Pretty much everything else down here is just like broken bits of stuff. And then I've got a bunch of chains. So I'm gonna look at the, what else is in love? I'm gonna look at the clasps on them and see if there's any worth really digging out of this mess. Or is it just one big messy mess? It might just be. It's one, yeah, this is just one big messy multi-strand necklace. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So that's that. <laughs> Takeaways. Oh, wait. Hang on. Let's take a peek at that. That is a pearly earring. Let's find out if that's a gold post. That's what we're going to do. Oh, and there's a mate. It's. I'm trying to see if it's magnetic. It is. All right. Never mind. This is magnetic. Is it marked? Nope. Plus it's magnetic, so it doesn't matter. All right. Well, it was fun anyway. Uh, I got a few little bits. I got the watch and the uh, peacock and then this AB necklace. That's pretty cool. And then the little owl. That's pretty much, I mean, there's the Iron Man watch. Yeah, not a lot of stuff. But a lot of laughs, and that's almost, that's more important, right? Having fun. <clears throat> now, every time it wouldn't be good, but sometimes it's okay. <laughs> I had a good blue box, the last blue box I got, so that was uh, making up for a lot. So, yeah, uh, that's, that's it. So I guess I need to go cook dinner because that's what moms have to do now. And I hope that you guys are having a great evening. I'm really glad I came on live. I really thought about doing a camera down and editing it, but I'm really glad that I came on and just hung out and and had fun with y'all. So I uh, hope you're having a really safe holiday season, truly. And yeah, uh, hopefully be back soon with another box or I've got some shop goodwills that I got. I don't know what I'm going to do next, truly. I just don't know. But I will see you soon. And again, stay safe. And uh, yeah, all I want to say is just be safe, y'all. Don't don't get COVID. Have a good uh, yeah evening. Bye.